Hey everybody, Dr. Joe Buffield here. I want to thank you so much for being here today and just tuning in to more information and uh, just the ability to choose to do something differently for your health today. Um, you know, it, it is the season to be snotty. And, you know, as we're transitioning from one season to another, we always, always run through the, uh, the, the time of congestion, sinus irritation, colds, and whatnot. It, it's, it's tested time, and it's always been here. It's nothing new under the sun. But I want to give you some information today on how to really boost your immune system, some, some easy do's and don'ts to prepare you and to help you. So listen in, lean in, be a part of it. Appreciate you. A properly functioning immune system is necessary for optimal health. But how do you get one? You know, we can't just go to the store and buy one. Believe it or not, it doesn't have to be hard. So start by following some easy do's and don'ts to help your body fend off sickness and make room for health. One, do not, or don't, it all depends on what proper English you want to use, don't subject yourself to sugar. Sugar. While most of us have a sweet craving of some kind, from time to time, we all know how bad it is for us. Sugar is, while actually an anti-nutrient, and I'm talking about a refined, simple sugar that contain no nutritional value and end up taking nutrients away from the body. Once these nutrients are depleted, our body and our immune system face a greater challenge in fighting off colds and cases of flu. Number two, do support your gut. Probiotics, prebiotics, and fiber-rich fruits and vegetables help to balance and feed the bacteria in our gut. The gut is responsible not just for digestion, but for immune system regulation and production of neurotransmitters. It's been said that 70% of our immune fighting capabilities come from our gut, our intestines. A good rule of thumb is five to nine servings of fruit and vegetables daily. Wow, daily. I do diet diaries with people a lot. They are very few, five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables daily. We're in trouble. Just remember though, when it comes to supporting the floor of a gut, variety is key. Mix it up. Try new vegetables, things that you may never have had before. And new preparation methods, maybe uh, grilling, maybe sauteing, maybe um, on, my wife calls it a bar pan, you know, on, in the oven, we uh, bake them. So there are so many different ways that we could do this. Variety is the spice of life, everybody. Number three. Don't let stress get to you. Dude, that's easier said than done to not let stress get to me. Sometimes, I mean, do you see this gray hair? Do you see, you know, pulling out the hair sometimes? Life happens. Nothing is personal till we react and we respond to it. But stress is always going to be there. There's good stresses, there's bad stresses. But did you know that stress can weaken your immune system? When your body is under stress, it actually produces stress hormone called cortisol. This hormone increases blood pressure and blood sugar leading to a weakened immune system. I know it's easier said than done, but try not to let things affect you so much with outward expression of anger, irritability, depression. We have to find a way to allow that stress to roll off our shoulders and knowing that we're not in complete control in a lot of areas in our life. We need to do what we can do and then move on to the next thing. Number four, 
do you get your nervous system checked? Your nervous system, your brain and your spine, controls every, I mean every, cell, tissue, organ, and organ system within your body. The key here is to be sure that your spine is in its proper alignment so it can send out clear signals. No mixed signals, clear signals to the rest of your body. Give us a call, shoot us a text, an email to schedule your next visit here at Buffield Family Chiropractic. We are here to help you get reconnected in the most right way. To get you through this immune season, it doesn't have to be snotty. It can be clear. Breathe easy, folks. We appreciate you and we look out. We look forward to connecting with you. Have a great day.